Hello, welcome back to Cisco Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I am Nanda Kumar. In this video, we are going to look at deploying FTD in IPS mode. As we have already seen in the part one of this series, the FTD, when you deploy it in NGIPS, you have two options. One is deploying it as inline IPS or passive. Uh, when you deploy it as passive it is an it act as an ids let's go a little deeper and see uh, what are the difference between inline and the passive mode when you deploy the next gen ips as inline mode the ftd sits directly on the path of the packet typical deployment would be uh, either behind the firewall or after the firewall between the routers uh, Whenever the traffic goes to the firewall or after passing the firewall it, uh, between firewall and router, uh, the uh, IPS will be deployed. Um, so it it uh, it always have uh, two interface. One is for ingress and one is for egress. Uh, we we will pair this interface and make it as inline. On the passive, uh, it sits alongside of the switch and. Uh, you on the switch you configure a span port uh, where a copy of a packet which is received on on a particular interface will be uh, copied and the copy of a packet will be sent to the uh, firewall thread defense unlike routed or transparent firewall uh, where you have where you required a command to change the mode on ftd to make it either routed or transparent firewall for when you deploy when you want to deploy it as next gen ips this ips can coexist with either transform firewall or a routed firewall they don't have a separate mode uh, themselves uh, like routed or transform firewall so what that means is if you deploy a five or three defense in either routed or transform firewall uh, the, some of the interface which are unused or uh, 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 interface that are not been assigned um, assigned for a next gen firewall can be uh, deployed as next gen IPS. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, look at each passive and inline and how to configure them using Firepower Management uh, Center. The main difference between inline and the passive is with inline you will be able to uh, block uh, attack or um, reset the connections that are found to be abnormal. Whereas on the passive, uh, you will not be able to take any of uh, actions um, that is either block or resetting the connections cannot happen. But uh, it, is, it will give a complete report uh, saying if there is any abnormal activity happening within the connection or on the, uh, on the traffic. So when you deploy it uh, in next gen IPS um, as a passive interface, um, as I said, on the switch interface, you configure a port, uh, which you know, as a as pan port, and then cop uh, all the copy of all the packets will be sent to Firepower Thread Defense. Let's look at uh, how do you configure the interface on uh, Firepower Thread Defense. In this Cisco AAC five five zero six, which is running Firepower Thread Defense, I'm going to configure configure an interface as passive. Uh, this box is running in a routed mode as you could see it here and uh, it already has two interface which is in routed mode which is inside and outside I'm going to use interface 1 slash 3 as passive uh, I'm going to set the mode as passive and then define a name for this I'm going to set next gen IPS passive and then set the enable and create a security zone. I'm going to use a um, new security zone, which is so. I've created a new security zone and assigned to um, assign to this interface, and then click. Okay, uh, so there we go. We have defined it. Uh, next is to configure a switch to send a copy of a pack. Uh, packet um, that received on an interface to uh, to this 5 defense on 
interface one slash three and you can go ahead and then create access control policy to do the inspection now let's look at deploying the firepower threat defense in an xgen ips inline pair here you'll assign two interface as inline pair in this example ethernet one and ethernet two are in inline pair so the traffic that are received on ethernet one will be sent to ethernet two and before it passes through the packet will be subject to access control policy inspection and if a tra if a connection or a traffic is uh, found to be suspicious uh, based on the policy the packet will be either re uh, dropped or reset or logged now let's look at how to configure uh, inline pair using fiber management center so in this let's take interface 1 slash 4 and 1 slash 5 to be paid as inline pair uh, I'm going to create a name if and then enable the interface I'm going to set the mode as default as none and then say inside and uh, assign a security zone click OK and similarly for it must 1 plus 5 name this As an security zone so uh, we have defined the name for the interfaces that is going to be in inline pair then you have to go to inline set tab once you go to the inline set tab create an inline set uh, interface where you could see you should be able to see the uh, two interface that we have uh, created ng ips inline inside and paired with inline um, inline outside so with all the interface that are valid uh, to be paired as inline set will be listed here you need to cho uh, choose one which you intended to be in inline set in this case in um, this two pair this two uh, pair of interface that is one slash five and six um, uh, interface i'm going to name name this inline set <laughs> Okay, and uh, I can click OK so um, that's all it is required uh, for the advanced tab let's look at in the next section so this, in, with this we are able to complete the configuration um, configuration of uh, assigning uh, two interface as inline when you deploy the next gen IPS as inline uh, Interfa inline interface you have an option called tab when you turn on this feature tab what the uh, five power thread defense does is instead of taking or dropping the packet uh, if it forms malicious it uh, it only logs the information uh, logs the information on the FMC you can use this um, tab feature when you uh, when you put the five power thread defense in the initial stage in the production in network where you deploy the five other defense as an inline pair enable the tap mode and start configuring the access control policy um, the ftd is going to report all the um, all the events that are happening in your network uh, if if it finds any malicious tra malicious traffic it is going to report but does not take any action that is a dropping or resetting the packet on um, on the uh, on the connections this will help you in the initial deployment where you can start uh, fine tuning the your ips access control policy once you find uh, that you know, all the access control policy are are uh, you know right and then you can turn on turn off the tap um, tap uh, mode let's look um, at fmc how to turn on the tap mode which is quite simple uh, we already have uh, one inline uh, inline pair which i'm going to edit and then when you want to turn on the tap mode all you have to go to is advance and then uh, turn on the tap mode and click ok to enable it the next uh, next gen ips deployment mode is uh, using inline set here you can have uh, more than one inline pair to be clubbed as inline set as you could see in this diagram we have two inline pair one is 
uh, one is with Ethernet one slash one and one slash two as inline pair one and uh, second inline pair two has Ethernet one slash three and one slash four. Under normal circumstances, all the traffic that passes through Ethernet one slash one will be passed through Ethernet one slash two. Similarly, on um, traffic that are comes through Ethernet one slash three will pass to pass through one slash four. Under any circumstances, if the switch um, which is connected to Ethernet one slash four or three goes down, all the traffic that are being uh, passed through the subsequent packets that are uh, that are being handled uh, by this inline pair two can be handled by inline pair one without dropping any of the connections. Uh, this rerouting should be uh, should be uh, known done at switch level, but on the on the five power thread defense, all the packets that are uh, no, that are that are part of the inline pair two will be able to handle with handle by inline pair one, uh, and it reads as as the same connections and without dropping the uh, without treating it as a new connection, it, it will continue to inspect the traffic. Let's look at how to configure this on five power management center. We already have uh, one inline pair, so I'm going to create uh, uh, one more inline pair with interface 1 slash 6 and 1 slash 7. Now I have created uh, two interfaces with 6 and 7. I am going to go to the inline set. Uh, either I can create a new one or use the existing one. Uh, this inline set already has one pair of interface which is uh, either 1 slash 4 and 5. So here is another newly created um, interface with 1 slash 6 and 7. I am going to add this to this, uh, to this inline set. So now here uh, in this uh, inline set you can see that uh, there are two inline pair one is from 1 slash 4 and 5 and the other one is from uh, 6 and 7 so this is going to act as inline set uh, configuring the next gen IPS interface uh, be it as inline pair or passive or inline set is as simple as you see now with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video thank you see you soon in the next video bye bye